G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time since I last made a video or made a video like this, but today we're going to do a walk around of this 1984 Mitsubishi L200 Express. Um, this is a farm ute. This ute does not go on the road at all. It's 100% a farm ute. Let's walk around it. She's also pretty rough. She ain't, she ain't solid anything. Um, weird story with this thing. We got it a long time ago now. Uh, I think uh, 2016, so seven years ago. Uh, we originally got it for farm mute, but we stopped driving it because the a leaky wheel seal, wheel seal and uh, no brakes. Still, the brakes ain't the best, but we did fix the wheel seal and we put another carburetor on it. Um, doesn't run the best. It does not like to run on uh, all four cylinders. Sometimes it doesn't like to run on two or four. It's just, uh, it hates its even cylinders. So, as I said, this is a 1984 Mitsubishi L200 Express. In America, it's a Mighty Max or a um, D50 Ram, which I find strange. Um, they're, they're a weird car. Apparently, they're not common as, as they used to be. Um, I'll show you the damage to it, or the rust. And this is why she's a farm mute and not a car, roadworthy car. She is... She is soft and she's still wet when I washed it yesterday. So here's a look at the chassis rails. The chassis is pretty alright, it's just the body that's pretty bad. And yet again guys, I apologise for no videos, but I'm making this one today and I hope you enjoy the content. Please subscribe if you do. Um, so I got the old style tray on it, which is loud as hell. Look at all the stuff in the back of it. Old towel light cover for it. Uh, I put these El Cheapo LEDs on them. Because uh, why not? They were at the Sunday market. Uh, replace the trailer plug. Uh, it works well now. That LED light was always there. And here's the other one. Trust me, I redid some of the wiring on the back here. It was bad. It's not the greatest as now. It's still, still pretty bad. But it's got, it's got old school wheels on it, mixed match. So that's an old Goodyear. Here's the other side of the chassis rail. Got wrong style fuel filter on it, but it works. I did wash it yesterday, but I missed a few spots. Here's the passion site. You got a few rock coming in there, and you look at there. Soft there. Here's an old cheese cheese cutter, an old dumb lop. This was the spare wheel, but I put it on here because I like the look of old school wheels. Uh, this light here, I just got them a Repco and just put it on there. Made a little plate out of some aluminium. Uh, also, you can see she has some, a wreck in it in the past, but... Yeah, she's a farm ute. Now, I got these two from... Uh, well, these are from highway places, or like truck places for chrome stuff. That one's the Unicator, that one's Parker. So I've got the old glass seal beams in them. Grill's just... Bugged. Uh, cheap light bar from well, it's from the same place as those towel lights. And the well, lights are the same as the other ones. Indicator and Parker. Old, old glass headlights. And you can see this one's been replaced in the past because it's what, Stanley and that one's a... I can't read names correctly. And same as the other side of that light. This is old old... Hand cook tire, and his back one on this side's a uh, Desert Dooler Bridgestone tire. 
you don't see many of them anymore. You can see how bad it is. But it's a farm ute. We're not doing 100 k's down the road or 110 or not even 80 or 60. Uh, full drive works in this thing pretty well. All the gears work in this. Clutch is good. Uh, front diff is good. Rear diff is good. This side we had to replace the wheel seal on. You can see the old rev old relevance from when it was leaking. I think the other side's about to go, sadly enough. Uh, you can see some body work happen there. And there. Oh, got the old, old glass. This is third mirror, because the other mirror broke, so I put another mirror on it, then I found this one. This thing hates mirrors and engines, so. Yeah, pretty, it got a really good glass on this thing, actually. Really good glass. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good farm. It doesn't run the best, but full drive works for you if you need to pull out a tractor or a stump or get stuck in the mud here. Because last year I used it and I put it in full drive because it was just slipping in the grass. And last year was the wettest season ever. Yep. Uh, covered up the numb plates, even though she's not registered. I still covered up the plates anyway. Yeah, spare wheel there. That's the actually the other tire from the front. I just put that under there out of the road. There's some of all the wiring job. Actually, this blue wire, actually, yeah. No, this blue wire. This blue wire right here goes all the way up to the battery for an earth. But I did some work to some earth and powers under the engine bay. Yeah. Not much to show on the outside at all. It's pretty plain. I might, might make a YouTube video um, repainting a few things up. Like, I've got black spray paint. I can repaint all this this up, make it look less terrible. I've got some cheap liquid chrome to paint the wheels in. Um... Oh, if you go to replace your lights and indicators to LED, uh, LED flash relay, and you might ask them why the hell you spend money on LEDs on a farm ute, well, it's actually a good idea to learn to wire and do things on a farm car. That way, if you break something or accidentally set it on fire, it's not your daily driver or a good car. Now, this one's pretty good still. Like, we put a light bar on there because we don't do night driving, but... I did have other driving lights on there, but the battery died down. These old headlights don't help, but they're pretty good. You want to get them real nice and shiny, some steel wool and scrub on the glass. It will make them really good, like what I did. Uh, it's missing the emblem, but it's been missing for years now. Still haven't found another one. Apparently, when one of these show up in the wreckers, they're, they're really stripped down by the next day. Apparently everyone's looking for parts for these things. Apparently they're sought after or something, I don't know. Here's some rot in the door. Here's a better quality mirror. The only problem is with this mirror, it hits the little aircon window there, whatever you call it. Yeah. Let's have a look on the bonnet. Now. Let me just... Give me a second. Okay. Now here's the little four banger. It's a petrol carbureted. Now for factory, this thing was actually a uh, diesel. I think it was a NA diesel or maybe turbo diesel. I can't remember. But the original owners, before my dad's side of the family bought it, the original owners uh, took the diesel out and put the Sigma motor in, Mitsubishi Sigma motor, or as, as we call them, Stigma motors, because they burn oil from day dot. And they seem like to burn oil from uh, cylinder number four. For some reason, cylinder two doesn't want to fire, so. Uh, it's not a very big engine, but it goes all right. 
So obviously I got some weird Mopar ignition system in here for the work, but it works. So I redid some of the wiring, like I cleaned up these connectors here, I cleaned up these connectors here, and painted the positive wire red with some heat paint. Redid this positive wire. That's the earth wires of the trailer plug. Um, cleaned up all these earth wires. Uh, cleaned up the cinder unit wires for the temperature gauge. Clean up all the starter wires in there. It's got a different carby on it. It's actually out of a fan. But we're not going to talk about that, that one. Um, now this is a, uh, I think this is actually a petrol radiator for these things. And uh, this clutch fan's out of a Toyota fan. But it's exactly the same. It's newer than the old one, was it? This is a seven blade. And the old one was a six blade. And as you can see, water pump shot. But it's not leaking water out of the weep hole, so we gotta leave that alone. Uh, driver light relay, I cleaned up all the wires on there, and cleaned up the wires there. Uh, it got leaky wheel cylinders somewhere, but the brakes work okay-ish. That's the uh, one, I think, I think that's the rear and that's the front, I can't remember. It's got a uh, cable clutch, so no clutch adjustment really needed. That's, I think, all pressure switch. Well, that's, that's the oil filter, if you're wondering what the size is. There we go. Um, hose is a little bit sad on the bottom and the top, but what you got to do is some more hotspot wiring there. Other than it not running correctly, it still does pretty all right. Fuel pump's leaking a little, but she's okay. Uh, I need to find a battery hole down. It does have a hole down over there. Don't know. Yeah, there we go. But can't find the bolts anywhere, so I have to get the bolts and stuff. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of horsepower, but it does pretty well. Um, it's got an earth wire down there too, and an earth wire there. So it's really crazy how many earth wires there is. This, this does nothing, this little box in here, but I still clean up the earth anyway, you just never know. Horns there. Uh, warms up okay, that's the PVC right there, Got that's all new hose. That's actually, this is actually your cap, like what the hell, it's not even screwing cap. There's the lifter. But the only good thing about it, when because this engine got a lot of blow by, it pushes it up a little. So definitely not the original engine. The original car or the original engine was a diesel. Uh, when I showed you on the inside, I'll, 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 you have a look how the tail was a diesel because it's still got the diesel indicator lights in there. Um, yeah, so that's the outside of the car. I'll, let's bring you on the inside. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, so this is the inside of the car. Not very big in here at all. I've made headline on what it looks like. Um, it's got that's the case if you want to read the case or convert it to miles, do whatever you want. I replace all the globes in this cluster LED, so it'll help the alternator not work as hard. Uh, all this is the same. The fan works here and there. It does work. Uh, all the heating controls here work, except for this fan fit one. They disconnected it. it does well. It's down there. Uh, handbrake works. It's a uh, four-speed manual. There's no five, but it is, but it's got a um, reverse on it. If you can get. It will go in reverse, but it just doesn't want to go to reverse for me. There we go. Four speed. That's your gear selector for your four drive. You just now you're in four low, four high. Now you're in two high. But since this thing's an old school all drive, you have to go out, lock your hubs, and then come in and push it into um full drive. Better than those digital knobs you see in modern four wheel drives this thing's a proper bloody four wheel drive and not like new cars as you can see dash is pretty cracked up that's where you get 
living in Australia, everything gets cracked up and doesn't come good. Uh, I don't know if the steel is factory, but I've seen these things with these steel, so I don't know. As it's there, got the glove box here, and you can see she's pretty sad. That's the wheel, wheel kit that we use. I think there's a part number on here. Yep, there's the part number if you want to look for your re wheel seals. As you can see, I put a voltmeter in here. That's the earth wire just there, and the power wire runs all the way down to the fuse panel here. You see that blue wire that goes to the cigarette cigarette um, accessory. So when you turn the key on, it pops up. Don't mind the other stuff down here. So that's the oil filter box. Now this fuel filter box, it's not the right fuel filter for this thing. But if it works, it works. It's just a farm car. Like I said, you're not doing 100 k's down the road. Those. These pedal covers came down in one of our parts cars we have. There was, wasn't one for the throttle. Believe it or not, last year I did gave this thing a good clean. Obviously, being a farm mute, it's pretty dirty. So I've got to give it a clean again. Uh, in a case, stalk works. I beam works. The wipers work, but not the sprays. Got this rear view mirror from the wrecking yard. And now you can actually see out behind you. Even though I don't use it much, but it's still nice to have one. Uh, door panels are pretty sad looking. Look at that, pretty sad looking door panel. Believe it or not, with all the rust, the doors will start to push up pretty well. Here's the other door panel. Here's, here's the outside shot off the inside. Seat still folds back like normal. Also, yeah, I have some stuff behind here too I need to clean out. Like, I got rags, I got two bowls of brake fluid. Um, seat belts still surprisingly move somehow. So, she's pretty sad, but not sad enough to destroy. Good farm car. Got a screwdriver here, tool pro. Um, we never driven on the road. Um, Never ever, so never, never less left any prop properties. We actually brought it home on a trailer, so that tells you something. Um, heater does work in this thing. It's just you need to clean out the views panel and get rid of the corrosion to make all the fan and that work again. But it does work. So you got the old. These are actually pretty good, not nice condition. Or oh, the passion side one, but. The roof is been sad. Well, that's homemade headlines. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Show your friends. Tell your friends. Show your um, grandfather if you had one one of these, or show anyone who has one of these. Now you can see the roof's pretty sad too. Need some paint. Um, let's see the old Bessie will start because she doesn't like to start. And since I'm recording video, she probably won't start. As we can see, we're charging. Park light, light works. No other warning lights on. Is that little four banger? That sounds the water pump. She's knackered, but still works somehow, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Got exhaust leak here. But my drive it still comes down the tailpipe. Another thing too with this ute, for some reason the park has come on when you start it up, turn the key on. So that's another reason why I put LEDs on it. So that way the battery going um run flat and the alternate work is hard.
can see that red tinge has got LED lights on it. Now, let's turn this off so it's safe fuel. Charge light works. Um, under here is a mess. That's the LED flash relay. You can get them a J car if you're going to put LED lights in a Japanese vehicle. Works pretty well. It actually has indicated sound. Driving light switch. I replaced it because the old one wasn't wasn't working too good. Um, probably go flat on the battery, but I got to turn the lights on. Oh, of course, when I make a YouTube video, that light don't want to work. So those are the lights. It kind of sucks that light stop working. I have to have to fix that. Probably die when I'm washing the vehicle. Turn on them off. Uh, Turn that on, put in reverse, and show you the reverse lights. There you go. They're pretty cheap, but pretty bright lights. Well, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know this video won't be the greatest quality of video I ever did, but it's a video nonetheless. Um, might make some more videos on this thing, like paint the sides, get the light to work. Don't know why it's not working. Um, yeah. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, tell a friend, comment even if you want. I uh, hope you all have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye.